All right, what's up, YouTube? Uh, welcome back to the bunker here. Getting ready to finally go wheeling in the Jeep. Uh, and real quick, I'm literally leaving in a couple hours, so real quick, I wanted to kind of go over some stuff that I take with me because in a previous video I said I would do that. Don't know if anybody's interested, but I want to make the video. So if you want to see it, come along. All right, I'm, I'm traveling with my storage rack on the back um, because there's three of us going up actually four of us coming back so the inside is gonna be definitely full to the gills um, but this is stuff I take uh, I kinda have the room so I bring stuff when I take my truck I take a lot more I'll take jack jack stands a compressor all that good stuff all right in here I got just some of my big tools for anything that might break out there you gotta kinda beat back into place big pipe wrench big adjustable wrench I got a C-clamp some hammers hacksaw cut anything out of the way pry bar um, and I guess basic demolition tours I think I've got some 16 inch channel locks in there I top this off with my coveralls uh, and a big hat in case I've got a kind of in a pinch get underneath and crawl around but I took that out so I put those in there and then I usually keep the propane and the little torch on top of that just to keep it from banging in any metal because I don't think it would but I don't want anything to blow up gloves go over there also in here I got some towels fluids for everything I got oil I've got a full four quarts of oil there five quarts of oil excuse me uh, lubricants and some brake clean. I got some RTV, JB Weld, silicone lubricant, duct tape, zip ties. You break uh, sway bar links out there and stuff and it's easy just to grab some big zip ties, zip tie them up out of the way and, and keep wheeling. I got a, a, it's a cheap pipe here but I use that as a breaker bar and a pinch. Uh, I've got my impact wrench with a couple charged 20 volt batteries here. Uh, I have a lead light that just has an LED in it which I can run off of power inverter. Small extension cord I've got uh, let's see that is washer fluid I got fix a flat I got coolant um, that's pretty much it. I've got the rack on here. I've got the rack all bolted up with my, my hitch tightener which that video of me making the hitch tightener may or may not be up. I'm not sure the order that these are all going to go up. Uh, but when I arrive to the hotel, the rack's going to come off. And then I will probably break down just a few things I want for the trail into the smaller tote. And that will go inside. For now, for the drive up, here's my table that you did see on a previous video. Um, I have jumper cables underneath. I've got kind of my emergency shovel right here. Here's my spare. It's not the same size as the rest of the wheels, but it would do in a pinch. Uh, back there, I've got a 12 volt compressor, which I actually have to be able to hook up to an air tank, but I did not bring the air tank, so I don't really care about that. Uh, there's another 12 volt compressor that has a tire sealer, which is what they give you nowadays usually instead of spare tires because they want to save on weight. I actually got that from somebody last year before I had to drive home because I caught a screw uh, in the tire. But it made it act, you know, actually, the screw is still in the tire. I even marked it with some pink paint, so I'm not messing with it because that tire's holding there back over here. This is just a crescent toolkit, you know, standard stuff. I've got four blocks of uh, two by here that I can use so I can use the existing screw jack if I have to raise this up. I just put the blocks down, put the jack on the blocks. Uh, there is a jumper pack with a compressor and has lights and has an outlet and I can run that cheap inverter off of that and I can run the light that is in here. Uh, behind that, if you can see I don't know how the light is in there. I've got my OBD in there and another smaller inverter um, just to have. Uh, here's a bucket I take out on the trail. It's got paper towels, trash bag. It's got my first aid kit in here for now. It's got toilet paper. You never know. The bucket usually holds garbage, but sometimes might need to hold other things. All right, let's come around. 
can see where I used to have a handle. There's a story behind that. Under the seats. Let's see, this side, let's get you some light here. This side I've got some, uh, some extra lug nuts. I've got a deep well 18 mil here because the little chrome things will slide off the stupid lug nuts and then it goes from a 19 or a 3 quarter down to an 18 so I, I carry that I've got a breaker bar uh, that's for a trailer if I am towing my little trailer with it there is one of my big tow straps I've got a, like an old shower curtain just to have to lay on the ground if need be what else do we have got a fire extinguisher there underneath we have a smaller tow strap uh, and here we got a multi-tool some safety glasses a few odds and ends here is a power lead for my spare handheld CD CD CB round to the other side yeah, we're coming your way, Stanley. Underneath this seat. All right, underneath this seat, I've got snatch block for the winch with a tree saver and a clevis. Uh, here is my little cheap tow hook that goes in the, the receiver. Uh, another tree saver. Here is a hickory handle like a hammer handle. If you have to hook a couple toe straps together, instead of using the clevis, you can use that. You can loop one through and then stick that in. So if anything shears, it'll go flying as opposed to bringing a clevis to your windshield or your face. Got some bungees in there. I got another uh, fire extinguisher. In the front, there's a CB that we use when we're wheeling out on the trails. Underneath, I have my winch controller, and if you can see back there, I have another tow strap, just because. Like I had said, I'm, I'm, when I go in my truck, I take a lot more things, because I'll just clean out the bed of the truck, and then I'll just start piling tools in there. But uh, this is getting driven to the trail, which is a few hundred miles, um, and we're going to be loaded up with people, so I put the rack on the back, and I think... We'll fit all our gear without any problem. So um, I might try to run in and, and chop this video up real quick and, and upload it before we take off. Like I said, we're leaving in a couple hours. Uh, but other than that, if I do, keep an eye on the channel because I'll probably do more over the weekend. I might do a couple live streams. So uh, thanks for coming along. Just a quick crash course on uh, junk I take with me when I take the Jeep out. Uh, let me know down below what you guys take and let me know anything I miss if there's anything Totally egregious that, that I should have let me know and I'll see you guys on the next one